Hello, hello, my very smart students. How are you today? Today we are doing bar graphs. We are still doing bar graphs in our math lesson for today. So I think that by now we all got the point about bar graphs. So I guess it's going to be an easy lesson. By the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to say, I can draw conclusions and answer questions based on bar graphs. But first, let's do some mental math. You have to look at the number in this column, and then you need to subtract 100 less. So let's review again. Let's try to review and remember what we did in our previous lesson. First of all, we need to remember what is a graph. A graph is a diagram that is meant to represent data. And then what is data analysis? It's a processing of data to find useful information. So when we are looking for information, we are processing and we are analyzing the data. Now, let's see the question says, what color hair do five students have? Now we know that this bar graph is talking about hair color. This is the title. So when we read the title, we know what the people are voting for. Now they ask students about their hair color. And this is their hair color. Brown, black, blonde, and red. And this run down here is the number of students that were surveyed. So five students have brown hair what color hair do four students have so we need to find who has four which is this one right here one two three four so blonde has four votes and what two hair colors do the same number of students have which two colors have the same amount of votes Black has three and red has three. So black and red. So please go to this link. Pause this video that you're watching right now. Watch this new video on the link and then come back to the lesson. Now let's see this problem of the day. Pay attention because it's very tricky. But when we do tricky things, we are training our brain to think hard and to solve problems so the first thing we do when we have a problem is we need to understand it so what do we know what do we do to understand we what we underline yes we underline oh my god this line is horrible let me try and use this one <laughs> Let me underline with this. So, we will underline. That's the first step. To understand, we underline the information that they give us so that we know what the problem is about. So, we know that four more people answered the survey. They all have birthdays in the same month. Now, that month has five people. We need to also find out something so we have to circle the question what month are their birthdays in so that's the question we need to find out what is the month so let's plan okay what do we need to know we need to find the four more people have birthdays in the same month now we have january february march april hmm if we add four here we are gonna need one more box so no, it's not because it says that they all have birthdays in the same month. So if we add four people in January, we are not going to have a box here. So let's see. February. Let's try to add four people in February. One, two, three, four. Yes. And it says now that month has five people. So one, two, three, four, five people in February. So that is the answer. It's February. Why not March? Because if we add four people, 
one, two, three, four. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, and we need to find only five people in the same month. That's why it is February. Now we have two tasks. You need to complete only one of them. Task number one, solve page 558 in your math book volume two. And task number two, solve page 558 in your math book volume two. And for closure, go to ixl.com and play the game that's called create bar graphs. If you are using your iPad, you have to click on this game right here, create bar graphs. Thank you so much. Follow the instructions for each task, answer them, and then upload your answers in your portfolio in Class Dojo. Bye-bye.